Why? My baby. I knew his water bombing. You miss Monica? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, here she is. All right, bye. Hi, baby. Hi, my love. So, okay, spit it up. What did you eat for dinner? Why, spiked beans and tortillas. Now, look at any other way, babe. Not, not kissing them. Because, because I love you so much. This is me, because you're wonderful, and you're my winning the pool. And what's for me? The same thing. Good for me. Honey, I... I'll be in bed. I, I, I want you to cook, I'll be in bed. I think I better walk, because you don't know how. I have to run. That's it, turn it on. Hmm. In the real ceremony, the maid of honor will be handing her the bouquet because you don't hold the bouquet during the ceremony because you have the rings okay. and all of that. So, okay. so I'll take it. Mom, yeah. bring your arm down. Monica, my love. I give you this ring. I give this ring as a constant. As a content. And evident. Evident. Symbol. Symbol of my love for you. Of my love for you. And my trust and in trust, you. And my trust in you. David, my love. David, my love. I give you this ring. I give it this ring as a constant as and a evident. Constant and 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 you. evident. Symbol of my love. Symbol of my love. For you. No, no, please don't. Okay, stop a second. If you Excuse need me. to, put it on before the knuckle and then let him finish it. Exactly. Because you could end up dropping it, okay? Oh, okay. And, and then you're going to get nervous and all of that. Oh, so, Monica, Dave. There you go. You see how easy it is that way? The Reverend says he likes long, meaningful kisses. And keep your eyes closed. Yes. Okay, 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 that's <laughs> enough. <laughs> we got it. I love you. Look at that face. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. You're my own dog. Okay, remember, hands need to go up if you've got something to share. Okay? But you guys watch what the, the news, right? Yeah. No, no, no. I got four. Okay, listen up. The man he won again. They won again last night. Call me a 10 to 71. 110 to 71. No, no, no. Well, 10 for the heat. Yeah. And 71 for the box. Okay, so so here's you. You and Angela can talk about the heat. <laughs> Tell me how many group of food do we have? Bread. 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 And grain, uh huh. What group is it, oh. this? Oh, meat products. Meat. Meat. Meat group. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. Tell me some symptoms that uh, people can have and uh, people can get really sick. Um, stomach. Stomach. Headache. Headache. And what else? A shoe. Uh-huh. How do you call that? 
Wedding gift, and um, you guys are my best friends. Y el sábado, Adelina y yo estamos a la una. No lo quiero tener esperando tanto. Just be relaxed and enjoy the wedding. Yeah, I'm going to be on Valium. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Lo siente bien? Mm -hmm. ¿No está apretado? Mm -mm. Yeah, you have to walk with those shoes, though. No, Camina so. derecho. Sí, I love them. I'm just curious as to what this will do for you. No le pongo medias, ¿no? No. Porque yo creo que va a estar más cómoda sin ellas, por si se tienen que poner las cosas estas. No, 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 no matter how many times you tell them, it's okay, tell me what you really want, tell me what you really feel, they don't feel that they can assert themselves. You know, you show her three bridesmaids' gowns, and whichever one she sees last is the one. And with her wedding gown, it was the same thing. She loved all of them, which is what makes her absolutely wonderful. That looks nice. She is the light of my life, and I firmly believe that that's my life's work, is, is Monica. You have to look at it before you make an edge on the side. And you have to keep it smooth. And then you turn around and you check here. No, it's perfect. And you bring it down. I'm super curious. I don't feel it. Like, do it to us. Dance people have a routine that they follow every day. Everyone's is different, but they all have a routine. And Monica, she's created her own routine. She just has to have everything perfect. For example, she has her comb in a particular drawer. When we comb her hair, she puts that comb back. She centers it on the drawer. That's all there is in that drawer is that comb. She centers it in the drawer, and then she closes the drawer very slowly, and she peeks just to make sure that it's not moving, that oh, it won't get off center in the drawer. It's very funny to watch, but that's who she is, and she's happy that way. Ten. Seems like, okay. Then you shut the light off. My princess. My princess. Yeah, come baby, all right. Honey. Yes. Yes, what? Cocaine, baby. I know what I mean. It's cocaine. And you know it's to hit my butt. I love your butt. You always always. Now oh, come on, oh, come wake on. up. Wake up. Wake up, sweetheart. How about you two? Okay, man. Smell the coffee. When they met, he fell madly in love with Monica, but he was rejected. <laughs> she rejected him big time, and he suffered, my friend. We didn't like her at all. I remember when she started, he had told me about her. He goes, Mom, a new girl started in school. Her name is Monica. She's really nice. And then when we went to parties, she was there, and he said, oh, that's her boyfriend. And then I said, well, she has a boyfriend, David. You have to respect that. We would tell him, David, you need to get over Monica, you know, because it ain't happening. 
Monica, I think, has always been in love with love. She's always wanted to be married and have someone in her life. I'm just thrilled that she's happy, and he's the best. The wedding, it's their idea, it's certainly not mine. It's just theirs, and what more of a natural reaction than two people who love each other and want to be together. That's my girl, and someday I'm gonna marry her, and he would say that. Did you have other girlfriends before, Monica? No, I was single. I was single. But she had other boyfriends? Yes. And I hate it. I hate it. Yes. Tell me about it. No, I wasn't mentioning it. I was jealous. Monica, how do you feel about David? Good. I'm so telling him. I had to listen to him, he has to listen to me. Do, do, do the right thing. Are you nervous about the wedding? Nope. He is. What's he nervous about? It's not about my dress. And the way I'm walking towards down the hill, looking right into his face, through his eyes, and he sees my face. The two of you will come <clears throat> to the bottom step and just stop there, not not up. Just we'll stop there. Then Dad, you'll sit down. Okay. Thank you. And then David, you'll bring Monica up here. I think the two mothers involved are very, very progressive in their thinking. Each of you is going to take a side candle. So light it what I see with the other uh, kids that Monica and David hang out with is an overprotection by the parents. Uh, to keep them wrapped up in their little cocoon. But I think both David's mother and Maria have really carved out that these kids need to have a life of their own, and they're both trying to do that. I've never seen two more beautiful people in my entire life, and I love both of you, and here's to Monica and David for a wonderful life. Monica was born 10 days shy of my 20th birthday. The pediatrician walked in, stood at the foot of my bed, said, your child, and I'll quote, is a mongoloid, turned around and walked out. And that was it. And I was like, I guess in shock. I, I don't think it sank in. Monica's biological father was separated before Monica was a year old. We divorced, I think, around her second birthday. But for a few years, he was around occasionally. But as the years progressed, the visits were less and less frequent. It was pretty lonely except for my parents, especially my mom. But my mom was great and helped me through accepting it. I realized that I needed to make something of myself because my daughter would always have financial needs. I started working part-time at an airline and eventually worked myself up to a cruise line and ended my career as a senior vice president of that cruise line. I'm very lucky. My husband and I both worked very hard and were able to afford to give her her dream wedding. Since she never went to college or had a car, we're able to at least make her wedding a very special occasion. Oh, Alright, can you face me a little bit more? Try to put an eye. That's beautiful. I know it. I'm I'll be happy to be with her. It's all it's all about him. Yeah, all about me. This is my day. It's my life. To be with my husband forever.
Hi, Monica. Hi, Monica. Ask you, David. Ask you, David. To be my husband. To be my husband. To the best of my ability. To my best ability. I shall try. I shall try. To be sensitive. To be sensitive. To your needs. To your needs. To stay. I shall marry. I shall marry. My best friend. My best friend. The one I laugh with. The one I laugh with. Live for. Live for. And shall love forevermore. I shall love and even more. These rings are symbols of your love and trust for and in each other. I know you've been waiting for this. You may now, <laughs> you may now kiss your most beautiful bride. You put the ring wrong. No, that's, see, look at it. No, that's yeah, right. But it's right. not quite it. Yes, it is. One, two, three, four. That's what I said, but it's supposed to be all the way. And it is in. Look at this. Look at me, baby. Now you cannot take a bow. Now you did it. My little. I've never left Monica alone. I mean, it's something that I know I need to start working towards, teaching her to be more independent so that she can have a normal life. Oh, honey. Mm -hmm. Say a little short. No, mm -hmm. toes you. Toes you, my shall be long. That's good, darling. That's good. Look at me. You hold it from here. You go like this, and you turn it off. Oh, okay. You need to move on it. Say it like a dog, not my honey. That's the square, baby. That's what I did. Yeah. Thank you all out of here. Hey, hey. We're looking at our apartment decor, so oh, yes. join us. Join, join. See, you're going to see your new room soon. Mm -hmm. Come over here. 
from here over. This is your mm. side of the apartment. All of this. All yeah. this and this. So keep it clean. This is Monica and David's wing. We're all the way over here. It's okay. I figured that much. What do you mean it's okay? It's okay. This is all your terrace. Aren't you going to miss us? We'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a whole special area for yeah. them, and so they can have romantic dinners yeah. and do all yeah. that. And I'm gonna start cooking. Yeah. yeah. Hello. I have a menu for you. Oh yeah. Have you you have you ever cooked at all? Never. Never. You when you were at your house, you never cooked. No, I never cooked yet. Okay, we're going to make arroz con picadillo. Yep. Oh, Let's start the rice first. Yeah. Here, can you open it? Yes. No problem. Who wants to do it, Monica or David? I'll go. I'll go. Okay. It's going to be there. Dip it in there. Yeah. You got it exactly. exactly. I think Monica and David are capable of doing a lot more independently than, than they do. And what else do we need? One teaspoon salt. One teaspoon, teaspoon salt. Monica picks up a lot that people don't give her credit for. So does David. Okay, okay. there you go. Now mash it. Smash. Like a mashed potatoes. I hope that once they're in an apartment, they could go on their own and become little by little. It's, I think that it's doable. I think that Monica and David are very capable uh, of becoming more independent, but it's the process. What do you think? Do you think it's ready? Yeah, it's ready, honey. Yep. Yeah. I think it is. You guys make a great team. Yep. Yeah. Shana and Joyce, I come here with all members in orders. And we have fellows and do the Amro. So last Thursday, I did last Thursday with Janet. All the time I did that. So it's four papers today, and you know what to do from there, right? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. we know what okay. to do. Can I tell me what to do? Call the beach, right? Yeah, we're here to talk to our No. He talks to Guys, I'll be back in a minute, darling. Okay. Yeah. And I'll get a thing on the head do this. <laughs> this is difficult. Yes, it is. This is difficult. difficult. How are you doing, David? We are brothers. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is too tight. And this is not going to fit. It's not going to fit. Kidding? I guess they're just trying to get rid of these no, examples. No, they don't have these. Okay, do the plastic ones. Okay. Hey. Let's do the big ones. Give me a little bit. Yes. Mm. Is this one? Tell me about handicap. What does that mean? It means when someone is in it. Wheelchair, you cannot walk and you cannot sit, right? Like, and then you go, okay. When someone's in a wheelchair, you cannot stand up. They cannot hear, they can't talk. They can eat, but they cannot talk or hear. They cannot stand up because they're in a wheelchair. And it, they cannot hear. They have to sign language to see what is going on. Why are the handicapped? Because it's, it's 
sickness. David, do you have a handicap? No. How about Down syndrome? Do you have Down syndrome? Sometimes I do, sometimes. Not all the time. What do, what do people with Down syndrome look like? Maybe they like, feel like sad and old. That's, that's why that is Down syndrome. She's been got pins flying, skin I see, the death. That's what happens. That is Down syndrome. In case I have no family, no parents, that is Down syndrome. We all have downs, like I'm downs, he's downs. Like I feel kids are downs, like energy and joy are, are downs. And they're, and they're adults. I feel, I, feel, I feel people have jobs. Do you ever feel different? Sometimes, not all the time. Tell me about it. Different or different? That I don't know about different. The different is tough. Okay, how you going to do it? We're gonna cross into eight thirty. We gotta cross Charlie eight fifteen. Put it on. Second. It takes too long. I, I don't. I'm better than you. I'm faster. Can go? No, I'm not here, sir. Go. No, you're not like that. You're not like that. No. Come on, do this. I, 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 I hate you. Hey, thanks, guys. How are you? Hey. Mm. Hi, Mama. Hello. How are you? Hello. You helped. Yeah, we did. You worked with Janet today? Yeah. No, Janet wasn't there. No? Who'd you work with? We're working with Rosie. Rosie. No, no, more, more. We more. No more. How about you? Now you drop. You can't. No. Oh. Oh. Wait, let me bring it on. Wait, Did you bring in the, the garbage? What dog? Did you put the bag in? Dog. Yes. And you put it in the white fence area? Dog. Yes. And you brought the recycle in? Dog. Yes. Excellent. Monica was always talking about wanting to do something with her friends that got married. And Maria, as always, put everything together. They always have a dream to live on their own, but it's just not going to happen. It's not reality. And maybe I'm underestimating them, but I don't ever envision them working. Well, they, they, they just they have a hard time. I think they're here. That the girls. Hi. 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 I go was busy with the guy center, with doing the flowers, the doors, and I do it, everything. For me, I want to be a cartoon artist. I always color a lot. Yeah. I want to do the voice of the cartoon. But first, I want to get married, and I want kids to get married. <laughs> And then you can pay me rent. I guess I get to pay twenty five hundred dollars. And this is the Where's my rent? That's a rent. That's all I get. That's all I get. Yep. Once we move, we're gonna be living here with them. You know, we're gonna have to have a baby. Right. Future. You know, we're gonna have a birthday.
in a public that supermarket. I, I can't bear that because I've seen some of the ways the people treat these kids. When David was born, they said that I could give him up for adoption. I didn't want to do that. I said, can I just take him home? My husband left me when he was only six months, so it's kind of hard. I was only 20. I didn't know what Down syndrome was. I didn't know the outcome. I didn't know what was going to happen in the future. But then I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to be able to raise David on my own, and it's going to be OK. You know, I would give myself that, you know, pep talk all the time. I sent him to the best school to learn how to read and practice his math and things. He did a lot of speech therapy, so his development was really good. I think that he would feel happy that he has a job. He could do it, but I wouldn't want him to have to associate with society. The thought of Monica or David running across anyone who would as much as look at them the wrong way drives me crazy. That's why I like them with us, because I feel like I can shelter them from all of that. There's not much else I can give them except safety and happiness. You're going to work at Publix? No. No. I might say no. I'll be having my wife. Yeah. You're okay. not going to be. Who said no? No, I said no because she needs some help. Mother, no. To sign an application to, to get you into it is not easy. It is too much, too much hassle. It's too, too tough. And that's OK with you? Yeah, it's OK. with developmental disabilities have needs and desires, they are very much like everyone else. And so I think parents need to be as aware of the contraception needs of a person with an intellectual disability as to the need of their other children. I know you. I wish I had a baby like you. Yeah. Everybody thinks about having a child when they get married, but they can. They're kids themselves at heart. So can you imagine? No. You want a home? Yeah, I love it. I would love for them to be able to have a child, but they've kind of been discouraged, if you will, because they see the work It's a very difficult thing, very difficult thing. Because you do, you know, you, they do have a lot of love to give. Uh, and that's something that's always going to be unfulfilled. Yeah. 
lemon cake. What cake? For my birthday. It, Oh yeah, did you show me? Yeah, it, this is the big five three. Yep. No, the big three five. No, I put them, I reversed no, them, it's five it's three. it's 35. No, it's 53. You're right, and I'm 53, I'm 35. Oh, okay. He puts it to 53, that's not my, that's not my age. I'm 35. Okay. Can you take a joke? Okay, I can take a joke. <laughs> He never called me out on his body. Or if it's goodness or doing us. He never he never called me. He's not worth it. Who? Oh? Um he's my weird dad. His name is George uh, Anton. He's like my last name. I have I have sister. Today it's a it's a birthday. She's six, um, she's sixteen. Happy birthday, Jackie. Have good birthday. David, what happened last night? Mommy was running. His face, he started to cry. I started crying. Then I come to her, tell me what happened. I want to know what happened. Then I explained to her, don't go for dad. Be as a woman, yeah. tell your parents what happened to you. He's useless, unfair, and that makes me very angry. At the moment I came here, I started to write this. I says, dear father, you never call me at my birthday. And you always make me cry. Forever more think what you did to me. I don't like you no more. You you broke my heart. Love your daughter Monica. Did you help Monica write it? No, by herself. What if he reads the letter and wants to see you? I don't have to. That's my choice. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. What's that, baby? It's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm helping you. Come on. Take a bow shot, okay? Because. Yeah. How do we know? Come here. Come here, my baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. How go? I'm done. That's it. Honey, honey, it's okay. Say. No. Mommy and I will be trying to right? Mommy and I go to one minute to tell a lot. And the worst one, I go miss our friends. Like Jennifer, Joshua, Charlie, and Angie, David, Susie, and his girlfriend. And his girlfriend. Yeah, Mommy and I are going to be nervous to move. Let's go take this stuff to the car. Need some help? Yes, please. Thank you, Anna. She's so 
into her routine that she refuses to realize that she's not sleeping here today. And it's not connecting. It's not that she doesn't want to realize it. It's just not connecting that we're definitely not here tonight. Don't start putting stuff away again. Let's comb your hair, get some shoes on, and get going. David? Yeah. Let's go. Yes? No, 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 How am I going to sleep naked? <coughs> I don't know about well, apple, my things, like my pajamas, all this and that. So I don't know what to, what to know. Is everybody ready? I'm ready. Okay, say goodbye. I did. Yeah, me too. Hola, mi I've taken on a move, renovation of the place I'm living in, my husband retiring, my daughter and her husband dropping out of their program because of the move. Good morning. David Foster? Yes, please. And in the middle of all of these problems, David has been diagnosed with diabetes. He almost died in the hospital. His blood sugar was well up over 700, where his eyes would roll over in the back of his head, and he became incoherent. And we panicked. David has to have his blood sugar read before every meal. He has to get shots four times a day. 91. 91. 91. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, that tickles. Does it hurt, David? No. I'm a bad man. It's been a huge change. Now the David is 100% dependent upon us.
today. No, you didn't. I didn't. Please and help. No problem. Oh, wow. Hey, look at you, Arsene. Oh. Why you say no more? You're these days. Not now. No, not now. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow can't eat them. Right. No one's going to cannot be a parcel at the beach. No, you're being eaten down. What strangers? No. Oh. So then you're going to be down. He's right there. Well, well, better. Mm -hmm. Hi, Monica. Hello. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Since I last time I saw you, any mm -hmm. news? He has a diabetes. He has a he lungs. He used to get a shot day, morning, and night, and before he goes to bed, because. Because he needs to eat less carbs. And if he gets weak, he has to have a snack. You told me that last time we met. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you still worried about him? A little bit. A little bit. But mm -hmm. to me, he's not going to die. He ain't going to. Because to me, he's not going to go. He's not going to coma. He's not going to die. He's eating healthy. He's eating mm -hmm. well. Because of his weight. Now he, he lost weight this mm -hmm. morning. I, yes. I gained. Do you like helping him? To, well, to me, I need to help him so many times. When we met last time, we also talked about what you would like to do in the future. Mm -hmm. So yeah. can we talk about that again? Yeah. Okay. But let's say when your mom is not around to take care of you, when she gets old, uh, you know, and well, she can take care of what, what would you like to do? Well, to me, I, I, don't, I, I don't like what she said. Uh, yeah, you don't like to think about it? Mm -hmm. There's different mm -hmm. options. You could share uh, an apartment with another couple. You could live with another family member. Mm -hmm. uh, have you thought about it? Well, to me, I was not quite ready for us yet to do that. Mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to stay with us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I would It's something that. that enters my mind at least once a day. What will happen when I'm not there? Everybody has the same concerns. Are they going to be accepting? Uh, are they going to be okay? Um, are they going to be treated differently? If I die, what's going to happen? That is the main thing that everybody worries about. Now I'm going to start crying. Everybody's going to have their own lives. Monica and David are our lives. That's the difference. Monica and David are Bob's and my life. Everything we do revolves around them. 
and and it's by choice it's not because we, we actually enjoy hanging out with them and so I certainly don't expect that everyone uh, or anyone else is going to be able to dedicate themselves or want to dedicate themselves to Monica and David you don't want to think about those things you, th you know that they have family that they're going to care for them but is it going to be the same I don't want her to go through any of that, you know, because she went through a lot. I can't do this. Yes. Yeah. Time for your shot. Let's go. Yeah, do this. Well. No, I don't know. No. Hey, do I do it yourself? Yes. Okay. Oh. This one will watch you. Is it enough? One hundred five. Very good. Let me see. You got on five. Yes. Perfect. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Thank you. David shocked me. And I was somewhat skeptical, to be quite frank about it, but he did an excellent job. You do it with them two or three or four times, and then they'll do it on their own. And you could see he was so proud of it. He was, uh, you know, he was so proud of the fact that he did that by himself. He still needs guidance to understand how much insulin to take, but he's capable of doing it, and we shouldn't treat him like he's not. Stop Hi, Ray. 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 They did work at their last ADT, helping out the secretary at, at the program. Mm -hmm. Monica would answer the phones, and they would make copies and stuff like that. So I think that's kind of what they have in mind. The jobs vary. We have people that work part-time, or we have people that work full-time. Mm -hmm. I have two people that work at the Lowe's Hotel on South Beach. Mm -hmm. One young man, he's a pool attendant. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, he called me a couple of nights ago. He's been nominated for the third time for Employee of the Year. Isn't that wonderful? And I remember his mom saying to me that, well, I don't know if you'll be able to work full time. I said, well, let's try it. We won't know until sure. we try it. Once that person starts working and earning their own money, you see such a difference. Sure. Ultimately, what it is it's about independence. Mm -hmm. Independence with the support. Right. So, Monica, mm -hmm. you have any questions for me? Well, like, for is it, how can I do it, like, if you have to walk from, from this building to get to the person to give us the, like, if you handle the, the letter, and you have to give it to the person? Well, that's depending on where you end up working. Ultimately, you, yeah. you get to find your way around. Right. That's it? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm yeah. fine. You're fine? Yeah. No questions? Yeah. He would no. be good at pool attendant. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's a good swimmer, right. a great swimmer. You ever been yeah. to the Lowe's Hotel? It's a great place to work. Sleepy head. Did you sleep okay? I did.
Did you hear the thunder? You heard the thunder, didn't you? Mm -hmm. But you didn't. No, I didn't. Bob came in to check on you guys, and she was awake, and you were asleep. <laughs> As always. Mm hmm? Yeah. And you stayed up late again last night. Who was the one who called me at midnight? I did. By mistake. But, but I was going to try to, to do it, to, to type on the an email. Mm -hmm. On the email. And you hit the phone instead. I hit the phone. <gasps> oh, my Lord. Good morning, Bear. Mm. Good morning. But it's 9.30, you gotta have breakfast, so let's get going. Okay, what do you guys want? We've got, okay, you know what we've got. As parents, we want people to look upon okay. our children with special needs like anyone else. We want them to be treated with respect and with dignity and to not stare at them and whatever. And yet, because we want to protect them so much, we are typically the first ones who treat them poorly by subconsciously denying them their rights to have a normal life. Yeah. yeah. Let's get it ready. It's just been a very tough year. It's been a very, very, very tough year. We'll get there. I'm going back to my Sunday Herald guys. Enjoy yourself. Thank you for them. Some classes. You guys go downstairs? Yes. Have a good time. Okay. Good time. Here you go. I'm gonna do it, right? Hello. Hello. Where am I from? Yeah. And I'm from Boston. Oh, oh my Boston. Yeah. Home of the Red Sox. Oh, wow. I love that thing. The the Patriots. The Patriots. The Patriots. The her mom, your mom, her mom likes the Patriots. Your mom likes the Patriots? Your mo her mom don't like the Patriots. She doesn't? No. no. Who does she like? No, no, Jackets. No, no. Why do you like the mom? No, no, Giants. Did she like the Giants? Yeah. Yeah, they beat the Patriots already. Yeah, they beat them. Yeah. 17 to 14. That's right. Yeah. Good game, huh? It is a good game. Yeah. So do you like the Celtics? What about yeah. basketball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. Yeah. They're going to come back to win. You think? Yeah, they're going to come back. We need to fold and sort and price. Okay, so we have these bags, but we put stamps on one side. If you don't mind just stamping the other side with the logo, that would be awesome. Oh, cool. Cool. <laughs> However you like it. Upside down, on the side. There's no such thing as wrong. David, you come with me. If you could write down the price for me, that would be great. This is a very classic designer, Givenchy. I think this should be a hundred, right? A hundred, please. And don't worry about doing the dot zero zero. Just write 100, 200. Okay. It's just easier for people to read. 
Hello, Black. Got it. Perfect. Oh, it matter. Okay, this is 50. This is 50. I need another. Got it. Tag. Thank you, my dear. Oh, now I'm walking out. Oh, no, no, honey, you don't want to make the bag. Oh, do it again? Yeah, now it's good. I'm a, I'm a genius. Oh, God. Oh, I want to do something sexy. It's kind of hard for guys to dress sexy. Oops. I'm not as sexy as you, honey. And I'm not sexy. Look, look, She's got it. She's... 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 Wrong. Part of this one. This one? I want him to be surprised. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, this is going to look. Monica, David, do these glasses look familiar? I have no clue. You have no clue? Honey. Oh, it's a pink glass. Yes. From when? From when, though? From your wedding. Oh, these, yeah. are these, are the, you guys these are the champagne glasses you guys toasted with. Oh. On your wedding night. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy Thank you. 